The word of the week is accompaniment. Accompaniment is a partnership with somebody else. It is an act of walking with someone on their journey. It is how we show love and support for others as followers of Christ. Pause the view and now create your prayer space. Take time now to gather together with the people you are with and prepare to encounter Christ. What have you put on your prayer area to represent what the word accompaniment means to you? Let's begin our celebration of the word together by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. For our celebration of the word, we have brought a green cloth. We have brought a Bible to show how we are accompanied by God in our lives. We have brought a candle to show how Jesus is the light of the world who accompanies us through do the darkest of times. We bring a statue of people holding hands to show that we accompany each other through life. A compliment means we talk with each other and with God on our journey through life. We are called to accompany others on their journey of faith, both in good times and in bad. This is similar to how the Holy Spirit watches over us. We get our example of how to accompany others from God as he always accompanies us through life, especially in the tricky times. The poem Footprints in the Sand tells us this. One night I dreamed a dream, as I was walking along the beach with my Lord, across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially at the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you said once I decide to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you. Never ever, during your trials and testings, when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. This reminds us that God always accompanies us even when we don't think he is there. He gives us the example of how we should accompany others through life. This links to our Catholic social teaching principle of solidarity as we stand with our brothers and sisters in life. Usually in Mass, this is the part where we would do a penitential act. You might also like to take the time to think about Christ's mercy at forgiving us when we have ignored him. Our scripture this week tells us that we should love everyone to accompany them through life. Before we hear the word of God, take some time to prepare. The word this week is from Mark's Gospel. This is in the New Testament and the Gospel writers wrote about the life of Jesus and his teachings. A reading from the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, O Lord. A teacher of the law was there who heard the discussion. He saw that Jesus had been given Sadducus a good answer, so he came to him with a question. Which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus replied. The most important one of all is this. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second most important commandment is this. Love your neighbour as you have loved yourself. There is no other commandment more important than these two. The teacher of the law said to Jesus, Well done, teacher. It is true, as you say, that only the Lord God, and that there is no other God but he. And you must love God with all your heart, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. You must love your neighbour as you love yourself. It is more important to obey these two commandments than to offer an, on the altar animals and other sacrifices to God. Jesus noticed how wise his answer was, so he told him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. 
After this, nobody dared to ask Jesus any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. The scripture tells us that the most important commandment is about love. It tells us that we should love God with all our heart, mind and soul, and we should also love our neighbour as we love ourselves. We should treat them how we would like to be treated. Some time now to pause the video and think about what the scripture means to you. The word this week links to our school virtues of love and charity. We need to have love for others to be able to accompany them on their journey through life. The word accompaniment also links to our rights. Article 2 is the article that talks about no discrimination. This says that everyone has these rights no matter who they are or where they live. The duty bearers have the responsibility to respect and protect this right. This links as it makes us remember that we should accompany all of our brothers and sisters no matter who they are or where they are from. To respond to the word this week and live out the word of God, we would like you to pray the footsteps prayer. Take a footprint template, listen to the poem again, think about who you are going to try and accompany through life the good times and bad. Write their names on the footprint. After responding to the word this week, we now think of our mission and how we can help other people who have been accompanied by others and God. Our mission statement helps us to do this. Trusting in God, creating tomorrow helping today we trust in god that he accompanies us on our journey through life this allows us to create a better tomorrow as we can show accompaniment to others helping them today think about what you're going to do to live out our word of the week through our mission statement Your mission is to think about the people who walk with you in life. Take time to tell them how much they mean to you. When you're done, write your name on the mission board. Reflect with the people you have gathered with how you will live out the mission given to us this week. With the mission in our hearts, let's remind ourselves of the love of Jesus by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.